Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. We are up to day 36 of our 1001 tarot readings. Today is the last of the three card readings. Today's spread is a three card spread on the topic of how do I best go about my first day at a new job. We're going to get into it by using the Chromatic Fates Tarot and Let's see what the cards have to tell us. So why would you want to do a spread like this? This would be for those times that you've started a new job and you're trying to identify who do I need to watch out for? Who's got my back? How do I integrate into the job environment swiftly and well? So card number one is who will be my ally? This is going to be representing a person. Card number two, who should I be wary of? This does not necessarily mean they're a bad person. It just means that they have the possibility to really mess things up for you. Card number three, how should I act initially? How should I present myself to these people? So we're going to use the whole deck. And we will find out what our first card is in just a moment. Okay, card number one, our ally is represented by the Ten of Wands, okay? Who should we be wary of is being represented by the Empress. And then how should we present ourselves? Ten of Swords. That's a lot of high energy cards, of high, I don't want to say authority, because that's not entirely correct. Lots of cards of completion. So, for our first card, our ally is being represented by the Ten of Wands, which was drawn by Jonathan Var Duncan. Here's what that looks like. So the Ten of Wands can represent delegation and boundaries. The person who's going to be your ally is the one who maintains the proper boundary of work to home life. The one who understands this is a job. I come here, I do what I am paid to do, and doesn't make a big fuss about things. They're not into the politics. They're not into the, the social drama of the workplace. They're there to get their job done. That is the person who will be your ally. Person to watch out for, the Empress. This card was drawn by Stephanie Cost. The Empress is feminine authority. My inclination is that there is someone who is, think, store manager, if it is that type of employment, or district manager, possibly a VP, if you are in that style of job, who wants to run the show. They want to be in charge of every detail. Again, this is be wary of the person. Not that they are bad, not that they're gunning for you, just they have the potential to really make life miserable. So watch out for that gotta climb the ladder feminine energy individual. Because just because it's the Empress doesn't mean it's a man. It means that they're going about the climbing the ladder in the feminine energy way. Keep an eye out for them. Card number three, how should you present yourself? Is being represented by the Ten of Swords reversed, which was drawn by Elaine Ryan. Ten of Swords typically represents the defeat of a large challenge, the completion of 
the great beast has been slain. Being reversed, don't come in acting like a hotshot. Don't come in acting like you are the one who has all the answers. Approach it with some humility. Ask for help as appropriate. And offer help as appropriate. Because both are signs of humility. Don't go out of your way to sound... No, let me rephrase that. Don't go in guns blazing to use an American aphorism. Seek to listen before to speak. Acknowledge that there are things that will be different about this new job than the previous one, and your previous tactics are not all going to work. That being said, congratulations on the new job. <laughs> I hope this reading helps you as you go about integrating yourself to the new workplace. If you have enjoyed this and are deriving benefit from these videos, please leave a like, comment, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe so you can see the rest as they continue being made. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.